In this unit, we will explain how to use the standard normal tables to calculate basic probabilities, such as the probability it's less than a number, more than a number, less than a negative number, or greater than a negative number. Recall that the cumulative distribution function, f of x, was defined to be the probability that x was less than x. Now recall from a previous unit that the PDF of the standard normal distribution was denoted by a small phi, and hence the cumulative density function of the standard normal is denoted by a capital phi. Since the area under the PDF represents the probability, we can represent this pictorially as follows. The cumulative distribution function of the standard normal is tabulated in Appendix A of the Stats Pack notes, a little piece of which is shown here. Let's use these tables to calculate the probability that the standard normal is less than 0.94. Well, 0.94 is the value of z given in bold here. And so the probability is given by phi of z in the next column, which is 0.82639. So far, so good. But notice how these tables only give less than probabilities. So how do we deal with greater than probabilities? We want to find the probability that z, the standard normal random variable, is more than a positive number, say a, which is shown pictorially as follows. We'll recall from an earlier unit that the whole area under the graph, i.e. the total probability, is 1. This gives us the following relationship. The probability that z is less than a, plus the probability that z is more than a, will equal 1. And so rearranging this, we will get that the probability that z is more than a, is simply 1 minus the probability that z is less than a. So all we have to do is look up the less than probability given in the tables, and then subtract it from 1. For example, suppose we wish to calculate the probability that z is greater than 0.47. Looking at the tables, we find 0.47, and the probability that corresponds to it is 0.68082. Now this is the less than probability, and so we'll do 1 minus 0.68082. So the greater than probability is 0.31918. Well, fantastic. We can now use the tables to get both less than and greater than probabilities. We can go home now. But wait. Notice how the table only gives less than probabilities for positive values of z. What do we do about negative values? Suppose that we want to find the probability that z, the standard normal random variable, is less than a negative number, say minus a, which is shown pictorially as follows. Well, we'll have to use the cunning fact that the standard normal distribution is symmetrical about zero. So the area shaded in the diagram on the left will be exactly the same as the area shaded in the diagram on the right. Well, since the areas under the PDF give probabilities, this means that the probability that z is less than minus a is equal to the probability that z is greater than a. Well, this is convenient. We just saw how to find greater than probabilities just a moment ago. And this was, we did 1 minus the less than probability. Well, let's apply this to example. Suppose we want to calculate the probability that z is less than minus 1.32. First, we'll use symmetry. So this will be equivalent to the probability that z is greater than 1.32. Now we'll use the method for calculating greater than probabilities. So this will equal 1 minus the probability that z is less than 1.32. Looking at our probability tables, here's 1.32 and the probability is 0.90658. Subtracting this from 1, we get the answer of 0.09342. An easy way to remember this symmetry result, other than drawing the diagram, is to note that we swap the sign of the inequality from less than to more than, and we swap the sign of the number from negative to positive. So in short, we swap the sign, and we swap the sign. Well, now we can calculate probabilities of less than a negative number. Let's have a look at how we can calculate probabilities that z is greater than a negative number, say minus a. This is shown pictorially as follows. Well, once again, negative values are not tabulated, and so we're going to use the fact that the standard normal distribution is symmetrical about zero. So by symmetry, this will equal the shaded region in the right-hand diagram. So the probability that z is greater than minus a 
is equal to the probability that z is less than a. Once again, note we can use our swap the sign, swap the sign shortcut rule. We are swapping the inequality sign from greater than to less than. And we are swapping the sign of the number from negative to positive. So let's apply this to an example. Suppose we want the probability that z is greater than minus 1.26. Using symmetry, this is equal to the probability that z is less than 1.26. Well, less than positive probabilities are tabulated. So looking in the tables, we see that the probability is less than 1.26 is 0.89617. We've now covered the four basic probabilities that we can be asked. Less than a positive, which we just read off the table. Greater than a positive, we just use the fact that the area and total probability add up to 1 to swap it to 1 minus less than a positive. Less than a negative, we use symmetry to swap it to more than a positive and then say that's equal to 1 minus less than a positive. And greater than a negative, we use symmetry to swap it to less than a positive. You'll need to be able to calculate these probabilities quickly in the exam and so take the time to learn the approach in each case.